everyone myself nupur sharma assistant professor at biani group of colleges on behalf of gurukpo.com today is my video lecture on the topic keynes liquidity preference theory now what is liquidity preference it means the demand for money to hold cash or money in liquid form now it depends upon three motives first is transaction motive under this motive the demand for money depends upon the level of income basically it is the money which we need for our daily exchange purposes because we receive our income on monthly basis so we need some money for our day to day expenses so under this motive the demand for money depends upon level of income second is precautionary motive under this motive money is demanded for unforeseen contingencies such as unemployment sickness uh, in this motive also the demand for money depends upon the level of income third is speculative motive speculative motive under this we take advantages of the changes in rate of interest when the rate of interest rises the demand for money falls and when the rate of interest falls the demand for money rises that is inverse relationship between speculative demand for money and rate of interest so it depends upon the uh, rate of interest now uh, this is the liquidity preference curve we can show the changes in rate of interest and the demand for money when the rate of interest is r the demand for money is om when the rate of interest falls to r dash demand for money rises to m dash when it further falls to r double dash rate of interest rises to m double dash this uh, perfectly uh, horizontal portion shows the liquidity trap which means at very low level of rate of interest the entire money is demanded in liquid form that is in cash so this this portion shows the portion of absolute liquidity preference that is at very low level of rate of interest the entire money will be demanded in liquid form now it can be given in the form of function also the demand for money now m1 m1 represents the demand for money under transaction and precautionary motive like i said it depends upon level of income so m1 is a function of level of income second m2 m2 is the demand for money under speculative motive it depends upon rate of interest so the aggregate demand for money under this three motives depends upon the level of income and rate of interest so that we can say that the aggregate demand for money is a function of level of income and rate of interest these are the three motives of keynes on which our demand for money depends upon and in the last we can conclude that it depends upon level of income and the changes in rate of interest so that's all on this topic for more information you can log on to www.gurukpo.com thank you thank you and thank you